Philadelphia Mint stopped making proof sets in 1964. There were no proof sets made in 65, 66, and 67. San Francisco took over in 1968, transitioned to clad. Not many people know that they kept making silver Kennedys through 1970. Then they transitioned to clad for the Kennedys in 71. Tonight we have the two last two Kennedys in high grade 68 cameo proofs. Look at these folks. These are the 1968, 9, and 70 Kennedys proof 68 in cameo, which means, I mean, the cameo appearance speaks for itself. It's got that dark mirror background, the frosted foreground. We're going to give you all the information on the mintage figures and the populations to show you how rare and special these two truly are. Again, the Kennedys themselves get transferred to San Francisco in 1968, and it's been there ever since. Most people don't realize that they made silver Kennedys in the uncirculated sets and the proof sets and the Kennedys that were in circulation were silver all the way through 1970. 71, as you referenced, Allie, the P's, the D's, and the San Francisco proofs were clad that year. The important thing here is how many sets were made, how few of them are known in 68 grade, but the more important part, that cameo, which is like a first day, first strike topic, is there. And you've been seeing it roll through this special B-roll we put to help explain. So a regular proof set is on your left. We showed you that shot a second ago. It's just a regular proof. The U.S. Mint did not perfect frosted proofs until much later. Yet, some of those frosted proofs existed. And again, Cameo is the contrast between the main device, which here is Kennedy, and then the open fields, which is the background. And you can see on the right, which is the coin itself, how frosted this coin is, which means, well, very simply, as the coin's striking, the, the, the polish on the die is shifting into all the open areas on the die. Because again, a proof is also a polished planchet. So if the crevices, which is the inside, the high point is the inside of the die, doesn't have the polish, then what happens? You get a frosted appearance. But if it does have all that inside, because the die has been used for a couple thousand coins, it'll look just like that. A regular proof all across the board. So when you get a frosting, it's like getting a cake with frosting on it. This is a Kennedy half dollar with frosting on it. It is called a cameo. But the best part is how few of them are known to exist. Mintage figures, populations, and then by the way, 79.90 divided by two means we're under $40 a coin. So in 1969, they made 2.9 million proof sets, and in 1970, you're looking at a mintage figure of 2.6 million. So those are the numbers we're starting with. But in Cameo 68 or better, you're looking at very, very small numbers, just 6,532 exist or known to exist for 1969. And for 1970, just 5,163. So in this particular set, there are only 5,163 sets known to exist. And they're $39.95 per coin. This is a two-piece set. You get both dates, the last two silver issues for the proofs for $79.90. $39.95 per coin. And again, on the right, those are those first strikes. Those are the cameos. Over time, that coin started to look like the coins on the left. But so few exist in that cameo appearance because the die wore. And over time, they lost that deep mirror background and that high relief, the, the frosty design on the foreground. Again, the numeric system is a 70-point scale. On these early, even though they were hard plastic lenses, a big improvement in proof set production, as you can see here, there are no 70s in any of these early, early San Franciscos. You don't start seeing that until the last couple of decades. So you have a coin that has a regular proof, pretty special, the lowest minted coin of the year. P's in circulation, right? D's in circulation. And then what? Proofs, the rarest. San Francisco's first. It just, it's, the, it's that bookend. It's like an end of a chapter, yet it's the beginning of a chapter. Kennedy started, and we're over 50 years right now, and we haven't had a Kennedy in circulation for over 20. The popularity is intense on these, right? People love them. They made 1.5 million coins last year, P's and D's separately for collectors, and they sold out in a matter of minutes. 
that tells you the scope. So when we have a chance to go back and look at the original coin, we're looking at the end of silver, right? 1969 and 1970. 71 was the clad, and it's been that way ever since. And then they brought silver back again in 1992. But it's not just a proof. It is a cameo proof, and that's where the numbers matter significantly. Now, our competition does have this set available. Uh, we saw it at $129.58 to be exact. We're almost $50 less for the same two coins. We're at $79.90 for the same exact two coins. It's a proof 68 with that cameo designation. The coins look like the ones that are on the right with that deep mirror background. Uh, those are the fields and then the frosted relief design in the foreground. These are Cameo 68s, again, saving of almost $50 off our competitors. Now, that's people that have them certified. And very rarely do you find people that have them certified as a Cameo. Our other competitors, if you want to just buy a San Francisco proof from 1969 or 1970, you're over $30 a coin. You know why? Because they're Silver Kennedys. So how about getting one of the finest known strikes with our pair tonight at only $39.95 each, $79.90 for the pair. Guys, we got to put a one-minute clock up. abccoins.com, everybody. That is the website. If you'd like to join us online, visit our website at abccoins.com. The item number on this one's 905-10470. That'll bring you to the page for the 1969 and 70 Silver Kennedy two-piece set. It's a two-piece set, both of those dates, the last two silvers in proof, certified as a 68 cameo by NGC. Again, there are only 5,163 sets known to exist, and the coins are $39.95 when you buy them as this two-piece set. Again, wonderful, wonderful product. And again, the graphic here helps really explain the difference, because you look at a proof set, everyone's going to see a proof set says, wow, that one's a nice one. Usually it's because there's a frosting, or what they call a cameo contrast on that coin. And these are those coins. If this was a Silver Eagle and we had populations this low and grades this high, how much would they cost? That's the question. So if our competition sells this coin in a capsule for in the mid-30s, and we did find one with these beautiful cameos for $50 more, it's just telling you this is the sweet spot tonight while they last. Call count equals quantity left which means if you're visiting us via abccoins.com, you better push this one through. It's time to be moving on.